All right, Etsy sellers, this changes everything. AI, 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 AI. You know, more agentic. Agentic capabilities. Agents. 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 Chat GPT-5 just rolled out, and I have to say, after testing everything, this really is a game changer for optimizing your Etsy business. So what we're going to go through in this video is what are the new things that the AI just rolled out that are making it better than before, and then we're going to go into the eight things that you can use specifically for your Etsy shop to enhance your Etsy selling experience like never before. And what used to take you weeks can now only take you hours, especially if you are not using AI in the past. So let's get into it. Before we talk about the new Etsy use cases, let's first talk about what makes the chat GPT-5 different than before. So number one is there's no more model confusion. So before you had to switch between the different versions, now it's just one model. Chat GPT-5 is the only option. And you never really knew which one you were supposed to pick. So now that that's gone, you only have one option and it can switch between modes automatically per your request. Number two, it's way more accurate. So you don't get kind of half ass results. Hallucinations, aka AI kind of just making things up, would happen around four to six percent of the time before. Now it's less than one percent of inaccurate results. Of course, not perfect, but honestly, probably still better. <laughs> if you only have a one percent margin of error, it's probably still better than how you could do the research or you could do it for yourself. It's still better than, say, you doing it manually because your manual is probably still a one percent worse deviation. Let's just say that. And number three is they also have a better free plan. The free free version now has more deep reasoning models included that used to only be for paid users. All right, so now let's go into the eight ways that you can use this for your Etsy listings now. Number one is you can rewrite your listings for conversions. So you can either upload a screenshot of your listing or you can add the link of your listing and you can actually ask ChatGPT5 to re-optimize your listings keyword for higher conversions. It's going to go ahead and suggest headlines, how to improve your product images, and add more trust signals to get that add to cart happening faster. Number two is a better understanding of keywords and the actual product. So before if you gave it a prompt about give me all the possible keyword product fit words that you have, it would give it back to you, but it wouldn't give you all of them, I didn't feel like. And now I feel like it actually gives you all your keywords. Keywords for Etsy and your Etsy listings is very simple nowadays with AI. It's a matter of going and asking, give me all of the possible keyword product fit words that I could possibly put in this listing because there's only so many ways to describe your product on Etsy, right? Like keywords are really not that hard hard. It's literally a matter of what are the infinite ways to describe your product? Give me all of those ways and let's put those words in my listing somewhere in the titles, tags, and descriptions. Now, obviously you have title standards, right? You don't need to repeat your keywords. You want to prioritize your top performing keywords at the beginning of your title. But outside of that, you, in terms of SEO, right? You really just want to make sure that you're adding in all the words that you even have the potential to rank for that match your product. And the key thing is, is obviously the words need to match what you're selling. Keyword product fit means that the words that the buyer is searching for matches what's in their mind, matches what the listing shows. So if you're selling a baby onesie, you want it to give back all the different ways that you can say baby onesie. You have baby onesie, you have infant onesie, child outfit, newborn gift, right? You have all these different ways to describe that potential product and chat GPT-5 is going to give you those in depth. Number three is create interactive buyer tools. So if you want a size guide calculator, a which product is right for you quiz, chat GPT-5 can code it for you and it can even match your Etsy branding. Number four is write your voice. Whether you need it to write you email campaigns, whether you need it to help you write social media posts, it can actually match your brand identity and your brand voice by loading it. And this allows your overall brand voice, your copywriting, any type of copy that you have throughout your business, stay consistent. Number five is it can make the perfect bonus product. So whether you want to add a free ebook top of your customer purchase, whether that manifests in a to-do checklist or some sort of digital product that they can add on to how they actually use the product they're purchasing. Say you're selling a sourdough starter kit, right? It can actually create you a PDF, you know, starter guide to using this 
of thing that they purchase. Or honestly, it probably can make you a digital product that you could actually sell. So that can manifest as ebooks, checklists, starter kits, right? Anything that's a digital asset that would help them either use the tool or enhance the experience of the tool. Number six is using chat GPT-5 as like an Etsy advisory board. So every time you post a new photo, right, you can upload it and let it give you real-time feedback and critiques on what the AI would actually do to help your imagery actually compete because that main image is the number one thing along with the actual product you're selling that contributes to your SEO and how you show up in the search pages. You can have the most beautiful keywords, but if your image and your actual product you're selling is not competitive, let the AI tell you. Number seven is a custom voice coach for your shop. So would you rather have the AI talk to you instead of type? You now have this ability. You can create an AI-enabled business coach to actually speak to you instead of just type it out in words. So why not make it a little bit more interesting? And finally, number eight is chat. GPT's new improved image generator, which can create brand mock-ups, lifestyle scenes. It can convert, you know, people's personalized images into cartoon characters, into those watercolor images that you can sell, right? And you can actually resell people's personalized images on wall art, mugs, right? Phone cases with POD providers. So that was always kind of around, but it just got even more enhanced, faster, and better. 